Raleigh's annual Christmas parade just three days away. And this year there's going to be a, a lot of change after the death of 11 year old Haley Brooks during last year's parade. CBS 17's Lillian Donahue was live tonight along the parade route near where Haley lost her life. Lillian. Well, plenty of people that are coming to this parade want to honor the life of Haley Brooks with what they bring this weekend to that parade and the joy that they want to have along this route. You know, there are no motorized vehicles allowed on this parade route this weekend, and people are adjusting to those new rules. Oh, Leo's taking his moment of fame there. Stampede of love, many horses are gearing up for their big day at the Raleigh Christmas Parade. I think it's the best way to heal the community. They still need to come out. We still need to have a good time. It's for the children. Although there won't be any cars or trucks, Kiwi and her siblings will be there along with many others. I want to see what they do to make up for it because I know that they will. They're going to have extra balloons, a lot of different things. I'm sure there'll be more horses in there. Parade organizers with the Greater Raleigh Merchant Association want people to honor Haley Brooks by wearing teal. Here you go, buddy. Her favorite color. We are actually going to be wearing teal hats this year on the parade. Teal daisies and lace. Business owner Luna Nickerson is busy building teal bows with dancers and angels. Actually, I was able to find the... A set of angel wings. At her parade side booth, she's hoping to see more than just teal, but a sea of smiles. I, I hope that all the like kids who were there like get to come back and like make it a better memory. Any additional profit she makes, Nickerson says she wants to give back to the Shine Like Haley Foundation, created by the Brooks family. And so you have all these communities coming together, and I really hope that like it's it's healing for them. And I'm told that the dance company that Brooks was with last year will not be participating in this weekend's parade. Reporting in Raleigh, Lillian Donahue, CBS 17 News. All right, Lillian, thank you.